try Primal first gameplay. This is some really cool footage that I got my hands on via my brothers over at VG247 so we can get a little bit more of an insight into what this game is going to be like and so far we've only really been given a reveal trailer and no one expected that when that came out anyway so at least we have some final first gameplay to look at and I've got some really cool information about the game as well. So, first up, one of the main core features of Far Cry Primal is your ability with the main character, called Takar, to tame and then control wild animals. This is not something we've really seen before in the series, besides the Shangri-La missions in Far Cry 4 where you did have an animal companion. To tame one, all you need to do is approach one in the wild with a little bit of caution, throw down some bait, and whilst it's chowing down on its dinner, move closer and you'll trigger a button prompt. Complete this and the animal becomes your new best friend. Some of the beasts on offer for you to command and do your bidding are saber-toothed tigers, wolves, cave lions, bears, and badgers. That's right, Badger AI is a thing coming in 2016. Alongside these awesome animals, Takar will also have the ability to call in an owl that acts as a reconnaissance viewpoint, so you can scout out enemy tribe villages from afar and plan your attack, or you can even utilise the owl to rain down hell on the humans below. Unlike the rest of the animals in Primal, the owl is one of them that the player has full control of and you can use it to mark a target for one of your companion beasts to go and attack, which sounds really cool. All of the other animals are controlled by you pointing in the direction that you want them to go in, or by highlighting an enemy and they'll go and attack them for you. And this could lead to some really interesting combo kill chains, a wolf wrestling a prehistoric tribe member to the ground while you melee one to death with a club. Each animal that you tame then becomes instantly available for you to call upon whenever you might need them. They'll all be located in a separate menu. If you go into battle with one and they become injured, they'll enter a downed but revivable state, where you'll need to locate them and feed them something to bring them back up to strength. Your sidekicks can also be killed completely, meaning you'll no longer have access to them, but like in Far Cry 4 where collecting berries for healing and food almost became a chore, you'll be able to collect special items to bring your tamed animals back from the dead. And on top of this, each of the animals that you tame will have a special ability to help you survive in the wilderness. For example, saber-toothed tigers will be able to drag bodies back to where you're located so you can loot them in safety if there are other dangers around. The panther is great for going on stealth missions because if you crouch down, the panther will mimic what you're doing and crouch as well and they stay hidden alongside you. Wolves will growl and point in a direction where there is danger, almost as if they can sense an enemy's presence. And the bear can dig into the ground in search of items which can be used in recipes for food. Further on into the game, you'll have the chance to tame woolly mammoths and be able to ride on a saber-toothed tiger. That sounds pretty epic to me. Moving on from animals to weapons and crafting, and this is something I was really looking forward to learning more about because, as we know, Primal isn't exactly set in an age where guns had been invented and therefore weapon variety would be something to look out for. From the information I've been able to gather so far, confirmed are clubs, spears and bow and arrows. Pretty standard pieces of weaponry for prehistoric setting. And according to Eurogamer, all of these are perishable, meaning the more you use them, the more broken they'll get and eventually they will break completely. You're able to find more materials scattered around the map of Oros and according to Eurogamer, these aren't too difficult to come across. As items do perish along your travels, you're able to craft them on the fly. Which leads me to think the system for crafting isn't all that in-depth and won't be offering extensive crafting found in other survival games. Much disappoint. I would have liked to have seen a dependence on your home base being the main centre for crafting in a game, gathering resources and taking them back to craft something special if you have the right items. 
Still, the world itself seems large enough that you'll struggle to make it back to your home base all that often, offering a similar scale to the world of Kirat that we saw in Far Cry 4. It'll include multiple different locations such as lake-filled areas, snowy mountains and sprawling woodland. Just the kind of environments and settings that we expect and love from the series. And lastly, a word on the type of game that we'll actually be playing here. The game is totally single player. No co-op or multiplayer present whatsoever, which I'm massively disappointed about. Roaming around the prehistoric world of Oros with a companion doing co-op missions would have been an awesome experience, but unfortunately, Ubisoft have decided to axe this in favour of keeping the storyline that you play out as rich as possible. So yes, I am disappointed it is only going to be single player, but if the story really is that in depth, I guess it won't matter too much. It doesn't stop me being very disappointed about the lack of co-op, however. So there we have it, some good, solid information on Far Cry Primal. And good thing too, because the game only comes out in about three months time, and we barely knew anything about it whatsoever. It's clear the gameplay style from the tried and tested Far Cry breed is still present, and it looks and plays very similarly to Far Cry 4, but it is interesting to me that this is a standalone title rather than an expansion of Far Cry 4. It seems Ubisoft think the game is different enough to move forward and be its own game. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I am a little bit worried though, as I mentioned in my last video that this game is only going to release 15 months after the last Far Cry title, Far Cry 4, I really don't want to see this become another AAA annual release. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are now on Far Cry Primal, now that we've got some good solid information, and have they changed at all from the first time that we saw the game? If you're not subscribed, make sure you are to stay up to date with all the Far Cry Primal info and hit that like button as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.